I'm Katherine Martin, founder of Quiet Time Ministries. And every day I have the privilege of meeting alone with the one who actually created me, who made the world. His name is Jesus and he is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And this is my quiet time. In my quiet time, I've been studying the book of Revelation and something in Revelation 4 has been so powerful for me and led to a deeper study of the character of God recently. And let me preface this by saying that something I have struggled with recently are certain things that have come my way that I didn't want. The closing of some doors, the opening of other doors, and none have been what I planned. Now, I don't know if you struggle with those kinds of things, but God deals very personally with us in whatever we are wrestling with, and He surely is doing that with me. Well, in Revelation 4, verses 2 and 3, when John looked up and was invited to a vision of the throne room of God, I want you to listen to what he saw. Revelation 4, starting at verse 2. Immediately I was in the Spirit, and behold, a throne was standing in heaven and one sitting on the throne. And he who was sitting was like a jasper stone and a sardius in appearance. And there was a rainbow around the throne like an emerald in appearance. So John saw a throne standing in heaven and the Lord sitting on the throne in all of his glory. Now, interestingly, John has this vision of God on the throne after Jesus has just given seven letters to the seven churches of Western Asia Minor, all who were struggling as a result of persecution, sin, immorality, compromise, complacency. And after you read those seven letters, you can feel a bit bleak as you think about all the troubles they were facing and then all the troubles you and I are facing. Well, then... John sees God on the throne. And the message is, God is on his throne. God rules. God is in control. God reigns. God still rules. God still reigns. God is still the one in charge of everything. God is sovereign. Oh, how I needed to meditate on that now. I needed that word today. I need it constantly. So in my study, I dug deeper and I looked at some amazing promises about God's reign and his rule. In 1 Samuel 2, verses 6 to 10, I learned that God is in control of life, death, wealth, poverty, honor, dishonor, the earth, the ways of the godly. I love 1 Chronicles 29, 11 to 14. In those verses, we learn that everything in the heavens and on the earth belongs to God. He's head over all. Riches and honor come from Him. He rules over all. In His hand is power and might, and it lies in His hand to make great and strengthen everyone. Jeremiah 29, 11 to 13, the Lord reminded me He has a plan, a future, a hope for me. I loved Lamentations 519, where it says that the Lord rules forever. His throne always stands. And then Acts 17, 24 to 28, the Lord is the one who gives me life, breath, all things. He has determined my appointed time and boundaries. In him I live and move and have my being. When we think things are by chance or luck, we need to turn to the word to find out the truth. Nothing is by chance or luck, and God is on the throne. Whatever you are facing today, you can know God is on the throne. Will you repeat it with me? God is on the throne. You are in His hands, His capable, powerful, life-changing, transforming, gentle, compassionate, gracious hands. The Lord reminded me to never doubt Him 
and instead trust Him. I spent some time in my quiet time with my eyes closed, imagining the throne room of God and God on His throne. And I took all the things that I carry that I have no answers for and walked them to the throne and placed them in God's sovereign, powerful hands. Thank you, Lord, for reminding me that you are on the throne. You are in control even if things seem out of control. Today, Lord, I trust you and your sovereignty. And that's my quiet time for this week. God bless you as you continue on in the great adventure of knowing Him.